Hey farm vloggers and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for the continuous support, suggestions and phone calls. Today vlog we look at Mr. Miller's farm and how is it that charity begins at home. Just give birth. I oh, like this. You guys have the minerals and also baking, baking soda. Okay. This is your maternity ward. Nice. And they're huge. So really big kids. Well, you can see this animal clearly on heat. Look at that boy behaving over and the tail wagging. You know, the signs of heat. And she just there teasing him. So in Mandeville. And this is a unique house to me. You know, every farm have a different style. So I'm looking, I'm using this way called diamond wish, diamond wish. I think I would have used on the concrete, right? I don't remember what it name. But that's, that's the size that he used, which is pretty good, good ventilation. You know, they allow the animals to feel like, you know, they're not too far from their natural habitat. Slotted floor. This, this is a nice design, I like it. Feeding trough on the inside, you can easily throw feed it from the outside. You have storage for him here on top, so I'm utilizing the space. And this, and this is a really nice design pen, it's really nice. And the animals looking outstanding. We have two young farmers with us. What's your name, young man? John Walker. All right, Mr. Walker. You are Walker too? So Jason Smith. Jason Smith. And your you bigger brother? All right, so big brother and little brother. I tried out the goat farm. We're lucky enough to come here and see. A birth, a blessing. And these kids are huge. So she dropped two. And she's doing her job. She's cleaning them up. And look at this hay feeder. They use the whole a 50 gallon or 100 gallon drum cut it open and leave the head space for the feeding it's a nice creeper section over there and in here like it's beer meal the christmas the christmas set looking nice looking nice them have them hay them have them grains look like a adlim situation so the animals just eat 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 as much as they want and lie down and then ruminate this is the scale, so they weigh the animals them before they sell them. This is a nice farm, guys. Really nice. I really love the setup. I like it. Really like this setup. Farmer serious, you know, planting corn fodder bank. Excellent crop to feed to your ruminants. Um, high energy crop, high starch, um, a good amount of amino acids like your lysine, you know, for your animals them. With the bag feed, it's all good. Here with Sean, uh, the farm caretaker, a female I always think is best. And she's about to assist this mother with her kids, clean them up for her, make sure that they get the first milk, that colostrum. So, Sean, I see you on the work. You're about to assist this mother, right? Um, it really for me to say um, females in goat farming. Um, you want to tell us how you get into it? something brief and why why goat farming mm, well it wasn't actually a choice but after after being around I actually fall in love with the goats and you know my love of animals naturally but I wasn't really around goats before but um, I gradually get to like it you know so the, the experience is not bad for you no none at all I actually like it I actually love it I love it yes I love it now so how, how you feed these animals? Because to me they are in really good condition. Um, I feed them uh, with the, the goat pellets mm -hmm. and mix it with salt, mineral, sometimes corn and uh, put it, um, molasses in it also. Okay. They put molasses and they really like, they feed with the molasses in it. Oh, they eat more of it? Yeah, they eat more with the molasses And I see you use a lot of hays, you, you don't do any cotton carry. But um, actually, we um, get the A 
and we sharp it in the machine. We have mm -hmm. a machine, sharpening machine where we sharp the hay in the machine and we mix it in the feed. So they eat more of the hay like that and less wastage and oh, like that. Yes, yes. And then we still give them hay in different containers by itself. Okay, so we, we're about to do now. I see what's your plan? You can assist them. I see you have some names for them. You want to give us the names? Well, I already know that one is Galaxy. Galaxy. That's a female. Was a female. Yes. And this one here? Well, I'm not sure about this one. You don't name this one yet? This one is a female. Okay, so you get a. For this one as well. Okay, nice. So you tell you name all the babies? You name all the babies. Yeah. Make it personal for you. Yeah. So you want to tell any other female why they should probably consider goat rearing? Personally, first I believe you have to have a love for animals in the first place, you know, and maybe goats might not be for some persons, but for me personally, I actually like it. Like, it's not, give, at least give it a chance. Okay. If you have the opportunity to give it a chance, give it a chance. And I believe anyone could fall in love with these goats. Because to me, um, basically, all of them have their own personality, and I try to bond with them, especially the babies. So, usually, I'm going to have a session, like when I feed them normally, sit with them, and you know, try to get them tame and used to me. Lovely. So, I have, um, I don't have much challenges in handling them. But it's a good experience, and at least give it a try. Come on. Come, Johnny. Come right down with me. This one? This is Dante Animal. Dante get a nice braided Nubian. Amazing. testing is when you see farmers reach out to assist other farmers and if you guys remember young Dante Blackwood down in St. Elizabeth um, who trying him thing really outstanding guy he was an inspiration uh, Mr. Dis Mr. Miller decided to assist Dante with a service book of a better quality he saw the video called me and said why Khalil um, I see that guy trying um, the meal you know the meal wasn't all that so he decided to upgrade him so he can improve on the quality I stuck. So, Mr. Miller, thank you so much for supporting this young guy. Um, thank you for supporting the Farmer Khalil channel also. Because this is what we're really trying to do. We're trying to do capacity building. We're trying to give the farmers the best knowledge for them to improve their livelihood. At the same time, we see how we can assist the younger farmers in growing their operation so they can reach this level. And really, really thank you again for the support. So, Dante, you come collecting thing. So I come here, man. the hand, man. Yeah, man. Reach home. Dante get him service book and what this will do is improve his, his offspring, improve the quality of animals and going forward. So again, thank you Mr. Miller for a good start for this young man. But Dante, a black animal who she finally gave birth. She was pregnant and he got he got twins and they're beautiful looking animals. Yes, boss. So it's dear birds and Dante farm, Dante rabbits now. Just gave birth. Have some nice kittens. You see, you gave your friend a couple of them. Nice, nice. So Dante, you see, have a problem that they don't think the animal is producing enough milk. But we see the kids sucking and our other look good. So it's going to look, test it out, make sure the milk coming out good. Um, but Dante, sometimes it's when animals have two kids on them, they really need a little bit of, this is where the concentrate makes sense, this is where you really want to use your bag feed 
to give them all that nutrients that they need to push milk production. Protein play a very important role now and the energy of the feed. So you could just do a quick test. Because our, our, our order look good. Alright, well we see a good amount of milk coming down. Ooh, you're almost with milk boy. <laughs> yeah man, she have milk man. I mean, just advice you know you add like a green store, probably a, a one and a half pound of greens. And that will help her push down, push down some more milk, keep her comfortable, get her nutrition up. Mm. Alright boss. So it's good. Bread and feed, huh? Yeah man, bread Every nut. Feed bread nut and the new animal comfortable in place right now. Make sure you get some water for drink. And until how much I call him? Tippy. Alright, Mr. Miller, the animal get named Tippy. I'm kind of stressed out because of the journey. So let's make sure I drink some water. Now I want to give them some anti stress with the minerals. So we can do just change out the water for him. So him seems yeah! so him, so him see that you bring water, come give him and make him, make him get a taste. And give him some feed and make him and just relax with him. Yeah? Make him calm down. See my breathe hard, my pant, him under heat stress. So make me just get him some nice cool water and take care of it. And guys, I want you to go and support Sharp Turn TV. This young man started his YouTube vlog channel, so look out for his pranks and challenges.